Fishing out of Montauk, I carry uh, this my normal nighttime bag. I carry uh, mostly darters. I have some bottle darters. I carry needlefish in various sizes. And that's pretty much all you need at Montauk is darters, needlefish, and some variations on I carry some bottle plugs with a little bit heavier water. 90% uh, of what I carry is Super Strike. I'll just run through basically what I carry. I like to carry uh, colors. Uh, colors don't exist as far as I'm concerned. At nighttime, I carry shades. I'll go from a uh, Smoky Joe, silver and black, then I'll step it up a little bit darker or lighter. I'll go to a green and white, and then I'll run through the color spectrum. Um, there's a lighter green and white, then I'll go up to this is a copper and white, but I like to match up my color plugs or shade of plugs to the ambient light at nighttime. Darker nights, no moon, cloud cover, real dark plug, um, a little bit of moonlight or ambient light from around the, the town or whatever. I'll switch up to a lighter plug and try and match up what the sky looks like to my plug choice. Daughters, I think, are number one out at Montauk. If you don't have a daughter and you're not fishing it, you really should just go home. Um, that's my number one choice because there's some variations on it, which is why I switch up to the North Bar or sporting wood, depending on the depth, bottle daughter. It'll dig down a little bit deeper than a daughter. Um, great underneath the light or for, uh, you have a little bit more water on the top of the tide out here because out in Montauk where we are up here at North Bar, False Bar, it's very shallow. You're lucky if you see 10 feet of water on a full tide. Um, when it gets a little bit rougher, I like to go up to Super Strikes um, Bottle Swimmer. Uh, they dig really deep. Uh, I actually have some of the old ones that have longer lips that dig even deeper that I'll use underneath the light with the big heave coming in. And then I will go all the way up to sporting wood to larger ones um, with larger baits around. And being wood, it floats a little bit higher out of the water than the Super Strike, so which is great if there's, you have a big heave in the shallow water on uh, lower tides. Um, then I carry a couple of secret weapons. Like I said, I carry needlefish. Uh, just about all my needlefish are always Super Strike. Uh, having quite a lot of fish, 30s, 40s on a Super Strike, I carry a, a bunch of them again, all based on Shades of color, dark, lighter, um, based on ambient light again. Uh, I'll switch up to white on full moon nights if I decide to fish them, but mostly the colors are dark. And I have a few other spin-offs on uh, Super Strikes that get Donnie really rolling. And these are uh, my own plastic plugs I make. And these I affectionately call my fat Donnies. Um, they're just a wider profile uh, needlefish that I think imitates different baits, uh, snappers, uh, mullet, uh, baby weakfish. I don't think a needlefish is designed or actually imitates a sand eel all the time. It's a various uh, stick bait that swims on the water and imitates a, a host of different uh, plugs. I went even farther on the uh, Donny's choice of uh, needlefish and the wad, and I make up both out of wood. These needles are eight inches, one and three quarter inch in diameter. I make them in plastic also that weigh up to almost four ounces. These I use up at False Bar, Jones Reef, North Bar. These just skim the bottom on a moving tide. So when the tide's really bucking, these are the ones that get me down to where the strike zone is. Shallow white water south side, I got a really big wood one. These are all uh, Stevie Campo uh, designs that I just took up to a little bit larger level. That's pretty much what makes up my uh, night bag. Uh, I do have an affection for really large plugs, which is my nighttime bag for large plugs and large bait. These I love on the south side. Same thing, I go all darters pretty much. Um, I have special plugs made by uh, Sporting Wood with a really big darter. These are almost two inches in diameter, weigh about four ounces. And I also use uh, Larry's custom plugs. Pull these out. Another big darter, it's about eight inches in diameter, uh, eight inches in length. And I go through the whole thing with, again, my really big needlefish in both uh, sinking versions. It's a lot of fun when you have too many plugs in your bag. It makes for fun in a surf while you're rolling. But again, I go up to the big needlefish and same thing, large metal lip swimmers. These are some of the big ones I use that are eight inches, two inches in diameter, weighing about three, four ounces. But this is pretty much what I carry in my night bag. This is blackfish imitation. I also have a uh, bunker imitation. If I can get it out. 
I can't get it out. I hastily shoved it in here. Oh, and then I have one bunker in town like they are this week. I have my version of the Jack Freck um, bunker plug. Uh, I haven't had too much luck with it, but that's probably because there's so much bunker choice around and it doesn't tend to move much. It's just like a slide bait. Um, but I've had fish on it, but you have to have your heart 100% your plug. And if you don't have your heart 100% any plug, you're not going to catch fish on it because you're going to quit. So, um, that's pretty much makes up my nighttime bag and get out, catch some fish at Montauk. Mm -hmm.